Hi, it's Brad. I'm a general contractor in Squim, Washington, and this is my latest addition remodeling project that we did up in Happy Valley. And uh, this is a show and tell, and primarily about the wall and single wall construction. So single wall construction was popular, uh, started in the 60s. It's kind of hard to find details on it on the internet, but it is in the code book. Uh, single wall construction, you'll find the studs, and then there's the Tyvek, which is the vapor barrier. And then we put on a 5 8 rough tex plywood. So we did 5 8 uh, Code says you could do 3 8 but we supersized the thickness just for the rigidity of the building. So a little side note, I do like to put one of the window labels upside down to see how long it takes the owner to, to question it. And in this case, they, they saw it right away, but some don't. Anyhow, this is a sample of single wall construction. We have studs, Tyvek, and then 5 8 plywood. There's a lot of advantages cost-wise, because when we did this project, a sheet of OSB 4x8 was like $62. And I'm not sure where it's down to now, but it will never reach back down to the nine that we were paying years ago. And so when you do a window cutout and it's OSB, you're throwing away that money and you can't really use that piece of OSB again. So when you start to add up at $60 a sheet and you're doing window and door cutouts, you're throwing away quite a bit of money. And then when we use the 5 8 sheets of the rough tex plywood, we're able to use, reuse those pieces up in here in the soffit area. So the cutouts can be reused. The other big, if this was uh, wrapped with OSB, then you would have to pay the cider to side it You'd have to have the cost of the siding and all of those details have to be added into the conventional way we're framing and building now. Um, this is older technology. I think I might have mentioned it was, it was popular in the 60s through like 2000. But um, to, to reach affordable housing, we need to maybe rethink how we're doing things. And some of the old ways we're, we're solving those problems. So um, remember studs, a sheet, uh, the Tyvek, and then the 5 8 We used a rough text to stiffen up the wall. Uh, code does say 3 8 Then we put the window flange on the siding, seal and caulk that really good. Uh, we do put uh, Vicor over the, the uh, flange of the window, seal everything up, trim it out, caulk the trim, seal it. So once again, we're saving quite a bit of money. The other thing we found was that when it comes to painting, painting's a lot easier because you're painting a flat surface instead of the lap siding hardy board option. So I can't tell you exactly how much we saved, but roughly we saved about 30 to, uh, let's say 20 to $30,000 when you start adding up all of the OSB costs. The amount that we saved in, there's no cider having to pay and there's no cost in siding. And then um, the painting is much easier as well. We also were able to reuse the, the cutout, like this per big door here, we we're able to reuse these parts up in the soffit. So 
We talk about affordable housing, consider your project using single wall construction. This is a shot from the inside, your Tyvek, your studs, and then the 5 eighths. And it does meet code, it's in the code book. It's just not a lot that you can find online about it. Thanks.